Yeah, so have you ever thought about how uh, handy it would be to just have your throttle cap on a knob on your radio? I have, and I'm going to show you how to do it today. <coughs> so I've uh, been thinking about making some videos about racing and behind the scenes kind of like filming jobs and that kind of thing so this is like my first try at that get a little bit out of my comfort zone um, filming myself and um, we'll see how we go but anyway the uh, first video I wanted to make was uh, just something to show you how to hang on I'm messing on my radio here just something to show you how to put your throttle cap on like a knob on your radio so like say I've got it on this knob here so if I turn it up all the way 100% throttle cap down all the way it'll go to like a 60% a throttle cap which I think is good for like you know <clears throat> when you get to a race and you're learning the track for the first time it's good to have kind of like a lower power when you're learning the track well that's what I like to do at least um, and I was sick of going into my model settings then into the mixer then into the throttle and adjusting it all that way so <clears throat> thanks to a lot of searching on YouTube I found someone who taught me how to do it through their video so now I'm gonna I guess steal that idea and show you how to do that as well uh, I'm just gonna show you on my sim model that I have here just so that my crossfire isn't turned on and uh, it's not draining out the precious milliamps from my controller so let me just scrunch you down here a little bit is my fucking lens fogging up um so in here you can see my throttle which is on channel three goes from minus 100 to 100 right now but if i turn this here knob you'll see that when I turn it from fully to the right, start going left, it drops down and I'm at full throttle here. So you can see it kind of like drops all the way down. So this is 60%, 80% and 100% throttle. Doesn't say that on the, the little graph because it's like running at a 200% sort of thing. So you're just going, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but we'll go into the radio settings and I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to go model. Page across to the mixer. Or mixers. And as you can see here I've got <clears throat> channel 3 and then I've got a couple little things underneath it too. So since I've already set it up. Uh... You're going to see these two things here, but if you haven't set it up, then it's just going to be throttle. And you just hit enter and then do insert after, okay? Which will get you this first thingy majig here. And all you have to do is set the source to the knob that you want. For me, it's this one, so S1. And then wait 20%. Offset 80% and then come on down to multiplex and uh, you're going to choose multiply instead of add. I'm pretty sure it's add uh, normally. Once you've done that, <clears throat> almost good to go. So you'll have, once you've done that, you'll just have throttle and this first s1 okay so then you tap in insert after again and you will get this little thing you do mostly the same um 
mostly the same process so source is s1 being this knob but this time weight will be 20 percent and offset will be minus 20 percent and you don't have to change the multiplex at all and you can test it in here with this thing this little gauge up here so you'll be able to tell if it's working if you you know turn the knob and it changes those things okay i was um i was filming on my gopro and it fogged up so i'm gonna continue this video on my phone um i was saying before that the channel um the channel input mixer thing it works from minus 100 to 100 so like even if you're on a 80 percent throttle cap when you're at full throttle on that channel it's not going to show you um it's not going to show you like 80 percent it'll show like 60 percent rather instead so uh what i'm gonna do now is set up a little track and i'm gonna warm up at 60 percent and just keep upping the throttle and um then warm down the same way so we'll see how that goes The obvious choice for a start finish is that way and then we're gonna go like this and um, we should be good to go all right so today I am flying uh, my race build so beeline sandstorm frame uh, sandstorm light so 20 by 20 only super thick arms so I barely ever break those. And then just a classic Acon stack, BMS motors, BMS props, and um, TBS video shit. I'm soon gonna be switching to the MCK motors um, from RCN Power. So I'm gonna do a video on that as well, but let's uh, strap in. We're gonna start at 60% throttle cap. Let's go. Oh yeah, my DVR also doesn't work, so I'm just going to be filming my screen and you're going to get a nice little background for what would generally be considered DVR. <laughs> Plugging the screen in. <laughs> yeah, boy. We on. First try at 60% throttle. Oh, I should add more to this track actually. Through here, up and around the tree, yellow two, through here, around the back. So 60% throttle is just letting me have not as much power, but a lot more forgiving on the throttle. All right, that, uh, that run was kind of messy just because I'm also figuring out what the track is supposed to be. So I'm going to do another pack. Um, going to do another pack at 60% throttle and then maybe move it up to 80. Let's -a go.
just feels so cool because you're just like full plastic or in this case full metal um but you know you're not freaking out you don't feel like you're out of control and you can really focus on like learning the lines how you would do them at like at a higher throttle limit um but you know with it's almost like it's in slow motion so it's really fun let's crank it up i'm just gonna go straight to 80 percent <laughs> way more peppy I think my battery's done on that one. Whee. You could probably see there and hear how much more kind of like power there was in that run. The thing I like about building up on throttle is like that first, those first couple of batteries, ugh, dirt on my drone. Those first couple of batteries at 60% throttle you can focus on the lines a bit more and kind of like where you're going to be pre-turning and stuff like that so then once you take it up to the 80 percent you've just got a little bit more pep for like tighter turns we're going to do a couple more at 80 percent let's -a go whoa trippy bro all right round two 80 percent I feel like, um, I feel like I'll just go straight to 100% on my throttle here. I don't think you're going to see much difference, but I can definitely feel it. It's one of those things like at 60% throttle cap, I'll probably just do a couple runs of the track um, before I find my limit on... Um, you know on that sort of pace and then crank it up to 80 and i'm starting to find my limit where like i'm having to kind of balance uh the quad like altitude wise and i'm finding myself at full throttle in places where like i don't really need to be so crank it up all the way now and uh we'll see how that goes all right 100 percent Take it easy for the first lap. Ah. You know what, maybe this isn't good advice because you're just changing the amount of throttle that you're used to all the time. But at least I showed you how to put it on a knob at the start. Oh, the poor baby. Let's try again. Jesus Christ.
<laughs> 12 volts. This might be my last pack. So last pack curse. Let's see if I can string together a few good ones. God damn it. All right, well, that's me out of batteries. So I'm done. I hope that throttle cap on a knob thing was helpful. Um, and watching me crash drones was maybe helpful for your self-confidence. Um, but just a recap on the throttle cap thing. Go into your mixer find your throttle channel, insert after, source, S1, or whatever whatever uh, knob you want, uh, weight, 20%, offset, 80%, multiplex, multiply, and then back out of that, select that one, select insert after, then source same as the last uh same as the last one weight 20 percent offset minus 20 percent and multiplex just leave it how it is uh, and then you should be able to have a knob that twists from all the way up being 100 and all the way down being 60 percent you can play around with the percentages but um there's math involved in that and I can't tell you the exact numbers, but yeah, thanks for hanging out and um, maybe I'll make more of these. Pick up your trash.